Hello everyone. So today we're going to be using my T-Fell Actor Fryer to make chicken. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's a put it in there, throw everything in, season it, put the timer on and walk away. Here's the problem. Not all of you have an Actor Fryer. Not all of you have an air fryer. So we're going to do it two ways. We're going to use our T-Fell active fryer here and then I'm gonna do it stovetop for all you people who don't have that ability to just set it and forget it so let's get started okay so I'm using uh, about eight pieces of chicken here I'm using four chicken legs and four chicken thighs um, you know dark meat has more flavor on it so and it's easier to digest especially after I've had gastric bypass so that's why I use it if you want to use chicken breast I mean I do have that in the house as well go ahead it's you know it's whatever you prefer so I'm putting six pieces in the active fryer just because I want to show you what two pieces of them look like on the stove top now our seasoning for both stove top and the fryer here are going to be the same I'm literally being very generous um, we are going to be adding potatoes to this, but I want to get the chicken going first. I want to start to uh, render some of that, that chicken fat, because that's going to essentially be what everything cooks in. So I'm pretty much doing tablespoon uh, to tablespoon and a half of each spice, except for the salt and pepper. The salt and pepper, I am going to be doing about a solid teaspoon. So a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of dried oregano and a tablespoon of uh, lemon pepper and a tablespoon of paprika. Okay, so ultimately in the actor fryer, this is going to go for about 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, in about 5 to 10 minutes, we are going to add the, um, the potatoes. So I'm just going to set this all the way to 45 minutes anyways. And we'll be right there, right back. Okay, and so for the chicken that we're going to do on the stove top, I just want to get it nice and coated. Uh, I'm obviously not going to do tablespoon portions. So just, you know, judge it by eye. But if you're doing a whole bunch of chicken on the stove top, then yes, you would use the, the same ratios that I gave you. But I'm probably doing a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of toss this around so that I can get it coated, right? Because in the on the stove top, it's not going to be moved around for me by um, my actor fryer. So we are gonna have to baby this a little bit, but I promise you it's delicious. Now to this dish, we are going to be adding some potatoes that are gonna cook with it and some carrots. And I will be doing a veggie dish for you guys as well, but this is essentially easiest kind of dish especially if you're doing it in an, an active fryer or uh, an air fryer because it's a set it and forget it type meal I love those don't you like kids have things to do well not during COVID-19 hashtag COVID-19 sucks balls however otherwise this is a you know timer goes off everything shuts off blessed so now we got this going let's move over to the oven Okay, so I just flipped the chicken. No, it's not burnt. It's just a caramelization. This is a pan that guarantees it won't burn, and I have put it to the test. Curtis Stone Dero Pan. So what we're going to go ahead do, and do now is I sliced up one clove of garlic for here and two for the active fryer. We're going to add the garlic. We're going to add the potatoes on top and some, some veg, and we'll come right back. Okay, so we're just going to season, oh, the potatoes didn't move fast enough. Look at that. Um, I did throw the slivers of garlic on, and then just kind of move this around. Now, if you're doing this in a stove top pan here, uh, you shouldn't need oil, okay? Because the chicken is going to render out its own fat, and that's what we want the potatoes to cook in. We want the potatoes to essentially meld and, and just get devoured by the chicken and kind of melt it into that lovely thickness. Okay, so we are going to keep an eye on this, even though it's in my sort of stone dirt in here. I did turn the 
heat down to medium low and I am going to cover this with a lid. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to go to the active fryer. That was quick. <laughs> So the chicken's looking really good. I do see some of the rendered fat from the chicken skin. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw in my two uh, cloves of garlic that I literally sliced very, very thin. Okay, garlic's in. So I did dice up about five uh, large potatoes. Now this particular active fryer can hold up to three pounds of food and I have put it to the test as we will kind of do again today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the potatoes and then make sure you break them up. I mean, it, the paddle will do that anyways. And then we're gonna go ahead and come back and season them after I've made a mess all over my counter. Cheers. Okay, so we're gonna add in the last of the spice, which is oregano. And then boom, she's gonna go. Watch, she's gonna turn momentarily. Don't make me a liar, active fire. Come on now. Oh, because I didn't set the t look at me. I walked away for too long helping out the children. All right, I think I left it at 35 minutes. I mean, if I need to pull it, I'll pull it. But look, oh, she's starting to move. See, she didn't. I'm not a liar. Blessed. All right, so I'm. It's at 35 minutes. I'm gonna let this go for at least another 10 to 15. I'm gonna check the the state of the potatoes. What I like about this di this dish is that not only is it a set it and forget it type of meal, but I also empty out my kitchen crisper. So things that I'm like, okay, I gotta use up like immediately in the next two to three days, I'm gonna throw veg wise totally in here. So I do have some Brussels uh, that I did cut in half. Cut them in half. If you leave them whole because of the chemical reaction that happens if it's whole and when it cooks, it tastes like a fart. It, I mean, it's really good for you, but cut them in half, okay? And if not, then just put an X. It's not blood. Just put an X, cut them with an X and it'll help release the air so that the gas doesn't make it taste all wonky uh, and then we got some carrots on sale at Wally Mart uh, they're baby carrots if you don't have baby carrots I normally use like uh, adult sized carrots here but that's what Walmart had on sale and I am definitely a sale shopper so we're gonna let this go until 25 minutes and then we're gonna come back okay so because the stove top time is obviously gonna be different it's not in an active fryer i'm gonna go ahead and add my veg in here earlier than i would add it in the active fryer the stove top is going to take a little bit more time to cook so when you're about a half an hour out is when you're going to want to add it in here okay so i'm not going to add any more seasoning i feel like mixing it around is going to add in enough of the seasoning um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and let it go for another 30 minutes. If you're also in a rush, feel free to just cover this in a, in your, I'm hoping you're doing this in a oven safe pan if you wanna take this option and throw it in a 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and everything will just be perfect and wonderfully uh, crisp and beautiful. But we're gonna do this on the stove top because I'm gonna show you two different ways here of doing it. Okay, so I let it go a little longer than what I wanted to before adding the vegetables, but it's not going to matter. It looks delicious. Um, just going to get my garlic in there. And I want my garlic to be nice and crunchy and crispy and coated and all this goodness. So anyways, we're going to add in the veg. And like I said, we're going to get it to the three pounds here. Like we're going to load this up, right? This is like a one pot dinner and I'm not going to add any additional seasonings um, and I'm just going to let it kind of go. So there we go, that's gonna turn. I've got about 28 minutes left on that so that should be plenty of time. I don't think I'm gonna need the full amount but it's there if I want. So now let's go over here to Stove top. I'm just gonna. Whew. Oh yeah. See, looking all nice. 
see if we can get a look at the caramelization on that. And we did not add any more uh, seasonings to this. Okay, if you want to look, give a look at that, give that a flip. I'm trying to not lose the skin. <laughs> see, and the potato is getting nice and stuck to things. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so the active fryer has gone off. Potatoes are fork tender. I would like them a tiny bit crispier. Chicken is great. And the carrots look like they can go for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out the chicken and put it on the platter because it really should rest before you eat it anyways. And I'm going to let this go for another five minutes. Okay, so our timer's just gone off. It looks great. The vegetables look lovely and crispy. Very hot, so we're going to get it on our platter. Okay, so there you go. It's essentially a one-pot dinner if you've got an active fryer or a uh, air fryer. Um, chicken looks great. Vegetables look fancy and crispy and lovely. Um, I did take some chicken out already. Cut it up for my toddler here. And I'm literally just serving this with some crescent rolls because the kids like it. But this is certainly enough starch for um, the adults. More than enough. I hope you, you liked it. Enjoy. And if you can, like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to, you know, task me at making a different dish, please feel free. I welcome the challenge. Cheers. Enjoy.